Hello, welcome to our primary class. We'll begin with opening prayer. They will have on uh, an opening hymn on number 71 to think about Jesus. So this will be our lesson. Be still and know that I am God. This will be covered for September 6 to 12 in Talking Covenant section 98-101. So this is a story about the, the pioneers or the early saints in Jackson County, Missouri in 1833. So we can learn about their challenges. Here in section 98, verse 39 to 40, I can forgive those who are unkind to me. So we can learn how to forgive others. So, and again, verily I say unto you, if after the enemy has come upon thee the first time, he repent and come unto thee the praying thy forgiveness, thou shalt forgive him and shall hold it no more as a testimony against thine enemy. And so on unto the second and third time, as of as an enemy repented of the trespass wherewith he has trespassed against thee, thou shalt forgive him until seventy times seven. So it means that we should forgive others with no limitations. So I know that we should put our trust to our, to our God who will be the one to give just, judgment, righteous judgment and vengeance and justice. Also here, the Lord commanded saints to obey all his words. He said they should not be afraid of their enemies. Instead, the saints should forgive their enemies. They should not fight their enemies unless God commands them to fight. The Lord said that he would punish the wicked people. So we should remain calm and trust more God and let him be the one to punish those people that have done wrong to us. So here's an activity that we can do to know more of the action that is that is showing kind or unkind. So here in section 101 verse 16, Jesus Christ can bring me peace. Therefore, let your hearts be comforted concerning Zion, for all flesh is in mine hands. Be still and know that I am God. So even if the sea and the storm were, were able to obey Jesus Christ and was able to come when he commanded it, so we know that we can rely on Jesus Christ when we are also having affliction and trouble. We can always turn to him. When life was hard for the saints in Joseph Smith's time, Joseph, Jesus wanted them to, to be still and trust him instead of worrying. How can Jesus help us when we are having a hard time? So by learning more about his words, by reading the scripture, it will give us a strength during the time we are having uh, challenges or trouble. It will remind us, it will give us the understanding on those challenges and the strength that we need to face also. So here in section 98, verse 1 to 3, and verses 11 to 14, and section 101, verse 16, my trials can help me become more like Jesus Christ. Because um, our trials or afflictions can bring us low, it will make us hum more humble, and will seek will help us to seek more His help and guidance, and give us realization to be kind to other people. So we were able to experience what it feels to to be mocked and persecuted by people who who done unkind to us. So it will teach us more that we should not do it also to other people, but we should do kindness and love for, this, for other people also. So teach us also to forgive and trust Jesus Christ. So when someone does something wrong with us, instead of hurting them back, we can forgive them. We can learn to forgive them and trust Jesus Christ who will be the one to give justice also and vengeance from us. So therefore, he give, he give it his promise unto you with an immutable covenant that he will, that this shall be fulfilled. And all things wherewith you have been afflicted shall work together for your good. And to my name's glory, glory say the Lord. So I believe that everything that happened has a reason and purpose for our learning and will also help us to control our emotions. If ever uh, there are people that have that are unkind, also we can have more self-control. Also, 
So here in Psalm 119, verse 71, it is good for me that I have been afflicted that I may learn your statutes. So we can learn also by affliction to, to appreciate more about our Savior and his teaching and his gospel that will give us also the strength and to control ourselves. So the challenges of the saints in living in Jackson County, Missouri in 1833. So some members were disobedient and were not listening to their leaders. So if you are not fully converted or if you are not focused on, on the gospel, so you can be a burden or you can be the cause of trouble in our church also or to our leaders. So the saints in Missouri had peace and happiness for a time. However, problems soon arose. Some of the saints were disobedient and unkind. Some of them argue with their leaders. The men in the mob here become very angry. They broke into the saints printing shop and destroyed it. So they want to stop the work of God. And they thought by doing it so, they can prevent the way of the Lord. The mob also beat some of the other saints. So they they destroyed their home. They hurt their, uh, they hurt the saints. They put uh, tars and feathers and caused so much of pain and troubles to them. So the saints leave Jackson County, Missouri during September to December 1833. So Jesus said some of the saints have, had not obeyed the commandments. They had not been united as the people of Zion must be. Some of them argue and some mean things to each other. Some were jealous and some were not sure. So, so during this time, there were divisions and they also having challenges by their own members. So even our time right now, we also may face the same situation. So if we are not if we're not fully really converted, if we're not reading our scripture and understand the gospel, this will occur uh, again, over, all over again, because of of our because we're not focusing on the will of or the way of God. So maybe we're focusing on on material things, on our selfishness. And we're jealous and we do harm for other members also and give them affection. So we must avoid it and we should focus more on how to be more united and to help one another and to love one another because this is the teaching of Jesus Christ. So here, in spite of this problem, Jesus said he loved the saints and would not forget them. He said they should be comforted because the fear in heart will someday return and build his Zion. Jesus told the saints to prepare for when he comes to earth again. When he comes, people will love each other and have peace. Those who were persecuted for following Jesus will be blessed. Satan will not have power to tempt people. They will be no death as it is known to them. Today, everyone will be happy. So whoever will follow Jesus Christ will face persecution. Okay, so, so this is uh, trials for us. So we must remain faithful during our trials and affection. And he promised us a greater blessing for those who continue and help your hearts. So Jesus was persecuted, mocked, and killed by his own people. So we know that people shouted and wanted him to be crucified. But Jesus showed us a perfect example on how he immediately forgave those people. He said here in Luke, 23 verse 34 uh, father forgive them for they know not what they do and they parted his remnant and cast lots so he understand that people here doesn't really know what they are doing so he showed mercy instead and he showed love he said that he was more um having self-pity on him on himself or questioning why people have done these evil things to him. But he understand more that these people didn't understand what they are doing and he forgave them even though they were not seeking for forgiveness. So by his example, we can follow also uh, his way. So we can also exercise when people 
being unkind with us. Maybe I know it's it quite hard, but we can re we can reflect upon again during this time on how Jesus Christ easily forgive those people who want his uh, who want his death and who has mocked him. So here in section 101, verse 23 to 32 and verse 36 and 38, through Jesus Christ, I can find joy. So life is not meant to be free from difficulty, but we can still find a fullness of joy through Jesus Christ. So here, wherefore, fear not even unto death, for in this world your joy is not full, but in me your joy is full. So we know that we came here on earth for trials, and we may experience pain and persecution also. But we can still find happiness by understanding the purpose of it and also trusting the will of God. And the time will come that we, the fullness of joy, will, uh, we will receive it uh, on his time. So here in section 101 verse 38, and seek the face of the Lord always that in patience ye may possess your soul and ye shall have eternal life. So we can lo always look upon Jesus Christ so he can show us, he can give us comfort also that we will have the, the spirit of calm, kind, patient, and to trust on our Savior and to gain peace and joy. So every time we fail, we, every time we made wrong or mistake, so sometimes we are disappointed with our action also that we were not able to control also ourselves. We can always ask forgiveness again and try harder more to follow more his example. So here's an activity, activity that we can do so that it will give us inspiration to control ourselves, our emotion, and to help us to forgive others. And it will give us also the inspiration to forgive others and to have hope that he will return again someday and our joy will have full and we will receive all the blessing that he promised. So I know, okay, we're done for our lesson today and I know that this I have shared to you is true. And I know that it is quite difficult for us to follow everything to Jesus, uh, everything that Jesus Christ has shown us, how to forgive our enemies, how to control our anger, our emotions. So we can pray about that for the Spirit to help us during those times. And we can read more scriptures so that it will give us always the guidance. And maybe we can also listen to the music to calm us also. So I know for myself, it is also difficult, but I'm thankful for this lesson that remind me that I must also uh, have more control over my feeling so that my emotion will, have, will not control me to do something that I could regret, regret also. So I can understand that some members may not always have the same level of understanding and have the same desire. So we were being tested here. So it is my responsibility for myself to, to look upon Jesus Christ that he will be my example and not looking by other mistake under, um, by their weaknesses, but more on Jesus Christ so that I will be more inspired to to follow him and to do more righteousness and to do good. So I pray also for myself and for my family and for other people to know this gospel so that they may have find also the strength to overcome evil and the day will come that Satan will have no power over us also. So I know this needs to be true. I leave this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So please support my channels by continue to subscribe and by like and share and leaving a comment so thank you and hope to see you soon have a have a great day bye bye